Winter is here. Time to make a new cloak. Hello and welcome to Lark Ride. Um, I'm not Dan yet, more like a winter hiatus. And I have uh, many future upcoming projects. I will doing um, some nerf modding. I want to do um, post-apocalyptic costumes. I want to redo my how to make a foam weapon series. And uh, there is uh, running on on this March there's like a 19, 99 euros um, costume challenge from uh, Epic Empires, a huge convention here in Germany. And I plan on entering that and uh, make a 19, 99 euros um, costume tutorial out of it. Well, that will be a lot of fun. Look forward to that. But today we are making a cloak. This is a very comfortable cloak. And it even has a hood. That will keep me nice and dry. But if I undo this buckle and fold it, it's just a square blanket. This is a what's called in Germany a Rechteckmantel, a square cloak. And uh, it's not only very easy to make, I think it is one of the, if not the most practical piece of cloth you can have. Because uh, when you're not using it as a cloak, you can uh, use it as a blanket. Or as a tarp, or really anything. And I think that makes it very versatile. And as I said, it's easy to make. So, uh, if you want to know how to make this, I will show you what tools and materials you need and I will show you exactly how to make this. So stay tuned. Alright, let's start with the tools and materials. To make my new cloak I've got this really thick wool loden fabric um, and this is the heaviest stuff I could find. This is like a thousand grams per meter of fabric and it's uh, it's like a wool blanket and uh, that's good because uh, that's what I'll be using it for when I'm not wearing it as a cloak and uh, wool loden is about the best fabric you can find for this it's good and warm uh, I paid 60 bucks for 2.4 meters of this stuff then you will need your sewing kit, needles, thread, scissors and uh, what I got is uh, this nice um, buckle I can use to close it with but you could uh, also use something like this um, to just pin it in place. Um, I think I paid maybe 5 euros for this. Um, anything more would be a rip-off. But I don't want to make holes in this. Um, every time I uh, do it as a cloak and undo it as a blanket. So I put these shiny buckles on it. They were about 13 euros. So, let's get started. Alright, we'll start by cutting our fabric to shape. I got a piece that is about 1 meter and 50 in width, and uh, 140, 150 is about what you want, depending on uh, how big you are. If you are uh, short person, 130 might be enough. If you are even larger than me, you might want uh, to actually add to your fabrics to get to 160 or something. 
and the length uh, should be something that you would use for blanket. For me that's about two meters which is fairly standard size but as it is right now it's just a bit too long to be practically for wearing it. I mean if you want to you still could wear it and you have a 2 meter 50 long blanket um, which probably has its uses but I want to cut this down to 2 meters and 10 so let me grab my measuring tape and my Tailor's chalk, and I measure two meters and ten. That's one fifty right there. this on the table so I can mark this proper. This leaves me with like a piece of 50 or 40 by 1 meter and 50. That's enough to make a hat from or for a smaller person a vest. So I'm keeping that. centimeters. Just put it around your shoulders. And now you could close it up in the front. But I want to put my cloth pin here. I will uh, 
suit right here. So let me get a proper measurement. This fold will uh, form a hood. Let's fold it back up and the home hood protect you from rain. So it shouldn't be too short. And I think about 50 centimeters should do for me. So I will mark this now and then pin it down. Let's do 45. Looks plenty. Plenty. I will pin this down as long as I'm still in the process of Doing my buckle on. Let's see where about I want my bucket. So let me put this on. And I want it about here. Let me mark that. Where's my chalk? I can't see it. So again, put it on, make sure it sits right. About, about here. Now, 
This is just a rough estimate where it should be. So let's measure it to make sure it's on the same spot. That's 50, 66 from this side. And 63 from this, so let's head on 64-ish. My buckles go on like this, so I can put it there, and I want a bit of overlap between the two pieces of cloth, they'll be putting together like a centimeter. So, you can zoom in. I will just sew this on here. Uh, this doesn't really have any uh, holes that are explicitly for sewing it on, but there are holes in here. So I will just uh, use all of them, most of them, to sew this in place. Sewing, I'll have to do because uh, the edges of this fabric don't come undone. They uh, just don't, so you don't have to seam them, which makes working with this very nice. What I will do, I will take this piece of string double, just make a knot here at the end, so I won't pull all the way through. Centimeter. So. and let me tie that down. This fastens one brooch. Let me do the other off camera, then I'll show you what I got. Alright, both.
both of the buckles and we will tightly zoom on here and I'm using black thread and uh, I've tried threading it along the black parts of the buckle so the thread isn't that visible. I think I did a pretty good job at that. And that's really all the sewing you have to do. Um, the Snowden fabric, the uh, edges won't come undone, it won't unravel. Um, and that makes it really nice to work with it, saves a lot of time. Now that I've got my buckles on here, it's really easy to know where I have to fold it, just ramp out the buckles. Pull it over, close it up, and done. And that's really all there is to it. So, if you like what you saw, please uh, leave a like down below. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions uh, what I should do in the future, please leave a comment down below. Thanks and goodbye.